Hi, my name's Laura Taylor and I've fucked more skinny white guys than methamphetamine. <laughs> Is exactly how I would open my set if I wasn't a high school teacher. <laughs> And then I go on to say, oh, just kidding. Unlike methamphetamine, I don't discriminate based on weight, socioeconomic status, ethnicity. I'm an equal opportunity disappointment. <laughs> and I guess herein lies the collision inside between my day-to-day -day life, where I have to raise young people and nourish their minds, and my sense of humour, which is dark disgusting and awful. I always knew it was going to be a problem. Um, it sort of came to a head when I finished my Bachelor of Education. We went to go on one of those pub crawls, you know, you get a t-shirt. And my suggestion to the slogan was immediately vetoed. I don't think there is anything wrong with touching your kids since 2008. <laughs> I mean, it was 2008. Summer Heights High came out that year and I'm pretty sure that we gave a Logie to blackface. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a good one. So, yeah, I've got this internal conflict going on. But, luckily, I've got some time off. It's school holidays. Yeah. Oh, we've got teachers in here. Of course we do, you disgusting drunk reprobates. <laughs> um, the, it's really humbling. 12 weeks of paid vacation every year. So good. But then there's a flip side to that as well, where I have to lie about what I did so that I don't make everybody at my work miserable. It goes something like this. Oh, what did I do on school holidays? Well, when I wasn't depression napping on my couch with intense burnout for about 18 hours a day, I spent a lot of time sobbing. <laughs> yeah, oh no, no, don't worry. I, did, I really, I did look after myself. I've been drinking water. Eating well, two to three meals a day, you know. I join the gym. Thanks, you can tell. <laughs> and, oh no, I didn't do the Marie Kondo tidying up thing because nothing in my life sparks joy and I don't want to live in an empty house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I know I look tan. I've taken in a lot of uh, vitamin D. That is a double entendre. Sunshine, dick. <laughs> They both release endorphins, look it up. <laughs> Usually I just lie. Um, I tell people that I do volunteer work, which if you think about it, is only half untrue because I spend a lot of time sleeping with people that I don't like and I'm not attracted to, which <laughs> is the ultimate act of humanitarianism, really. <laughs> so when people do find out what I do, they don't know me in my day-to-day -day life, I get three responses to being a teacher. The first one is this. I made a teacher of mine cry in high school once. I don't know how people really want me to respond to that. Like, well done, A plus at being a cunt to someone just trying to do their job. Like, <laughs> thumbs up for that one. The second one, usually from men, I wish you were my teacher, like I would have paid attention. I'd have liked it. First of all, gross. Second of all, you did not wish that I was your teacher because I traumatise children every day. <laughs> conversation from last week, I was talking to a bunch of beautiful Year 9 students, you can pretend to be the Year 9 student, I'm like, oh, congratulations, I'm so glad that you guys are really standing up for climate change, because I just want you to have a normal adulthood where you get depressed and hate your spouse. <laughs> and the kid's like, wait, are you suggesting that we're going to be depressed when we're older? And I said, no, not if climate change gets you first. <laughs> And I guess the, the third and final response is from people that don't do the education thing and they're just like, I don't know how you do it. How do you do it? Well, I'm gonna tell you the secret to how I do it. It takes a couple of minutes, but this is it. This is the secret to working with children and winning their hearts. I'm very, very attractive. <laughs> to children. Look at this. I'm like Emma Wiggle's cracked out cousin. My, my dress has dinosaurs in space suits on it, and I dress like this a lot. Um, but in reality, I don't really know that much about whatever this secret is. I'm some sort of modern day Pied Piper. If I had a van with blacked out windows and a basket of puppies, I'd be collecting children like those pop Funko vinyl things. I'd have at least 50. Like, I'd give them little names and jobs around the house. 
be adorable. Um, no, so I had this magnetism, two children, both strangers that I don't know and children that I know very well. Um, at the dog park this week, a girl that I've never seen before about yay high was knocked over by a dog. Definitely not my dog that did that. She scanned the people at the park, ran to me for a hug and pick up and cuddle. And I just was like, okay. And then with the children that I do know, it's even worse. I'm actually terrified of telling my two and a half year old nephew Alfie that we can't get married one day. <laughs> Firstly, he's very, very big and willful for a toddler. And I mean, the explaining part's difficult. It's not so much that we're related, it's more the age gap. Like, I'm not in a financial position to take on a sugar baby when I'm still... I'm still really looking for that one, a glucose guardian of my own. <laughs> Call me. Um, that's it, that's my only qualification. Just look like this and children will flock to you. Um, other than the two pieces of paper that I got from university telling me that I could do my job, um, I have very little to no expertise. I don't even know lullabies. Um, I typically, when I babysit, just make them up from Nicki Minaj lyrics. Here's one. All right. This dude named Michael used to ride motorcycles. Dick bigger than a tower. I ain't talking about Eiffel's real country ass. That's the N word. <laughs> Let me play with his rifles. Pussy put his ass to sleep. And now he's calling me night. Well, <laughs> good night. Thank you so much. I've been Laura Taylor. It's been a pleasure.